rows, when you're painting anything, you want to go general to specific. So large strokes to small strokes. Big idea to little ideas. So what I start off with and what, what it looks like you're doing. <gasps> Goose to Laz, thank you so much for that follow. You are an amazing status meatball, Goose to Laz, and together we can create anything on Twitch. All right, so for this rose, go general. And since it looks like all of your roses are going to be from the side, you can start off with a really simple circular top and kind of a, a wine glass shape. And if you want it to be a really tightly... Oh, Bob Ross Fro, fourth hero, you're right. You're right. All right, guys, we're going to make some happy roses here. We're going to make some happy roses here. So you start off with the general, the general happy shape, and that shape is going to be a circular top, and it's going to be kind of shaped like an hourglass. And you don't want it to look perfect like that, so what happens is you'll have the petals kind of fall off the edges here, so you have some random spots like that. And I'm not too worried about it. The, the details here I'm using my finger to just kind of get the general shape in there now I can come over with a brush get a brush purple paint so when you have the general shape in there what you're gonna want to do is start working on some of the details where I like to start is that top circular part where all the petals have come together into the top there to form a circle. And it's not going to be one circle that you're just going to draw in there. It's going to be made up of a bunch of little lines. Let's see, can you guys see that? Boom. A bunch of little lines in there. Oh, I could do it right here. I could do it right here. No, I can't. I can't. I can't because the mic is right there. He's gone. MSY is gone. Okay, well, we'll keep going with it. Um, so what we're going to do next, you can do the outline of the, the buds that are going to be on the very ends. You're going to see the outline right there where you can see into the rows, into the inner petals. And that, that part here is going to be really tightly knit, and then it's going to get bigger and bigger as it goes out. <gasps> Enlightened one. How you doing? Enlightened enlightened rose we're making roses right now how how amazing so you can have that you can also outline if you wanted to just go ahead and outline your rose you can do that you can also do it without an outline make the little stem here as well good i thought you were still here maybe one i thought you were here So you start with the general shape, and then you work into the specifics. So we got the general shape of that rose, and then you kind of, which was like a, a wine glass kind of shape. And then you have a few of the petals come off the edges here. Yes, we are painting happy little roses. <laughs> what you can then add is you can add a light source. Let's say the light is coming from the right side, casting on the right here. So all the right edges of this rose are going to have a highlight and you're, you're following the shapes that are already there to make this happen and that's a little too white I'm gonna blend that a little bit so we have we have the base shape we have the outline and now on top you can build things like alpacas because the, uh, every rose needs an alpaca how are you doing alpaca it has been too long too long alpaca We're working on a rose here. We're gonna get back to the kappa in just a second. But I wanted to show you one more trick. So what we did is general shape. We did outline, highlight. You can also do shadow. I like my shadows to be kind of colorful. So I use like a blue or a purple in my shadows. What wig? I, I know of no wig you guys are talking about. So let me know if you guys have any questions about the roses. Start general with any kind of painting. Start general, work into the specifics. 
and the top the top of the rose is the most important part that circular part right in the middle there where all the buds are coming together to form that circle let me know if you guys have any questions out there on art painting drawing life in general 